Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with Justin, one of my co-leaders of the Tesla Owners Club. There's Salif and Jason and a bunch of others that are here with us today, but what we're doing today is that we are at the city of Dora near Miami. Justin and the guys helped me organize, well, they really did the coordination with the city of Doral to do a grand opening ceremony at uh, the newest uh, superchargers here at Doral. The guys are doing a great job here. Now what you're going to see is a little bit of what's going on, the actual ceremony, as well as you're going to see one of the uh, city officials with some information about what's going on here. Justin, anything that you would like to say? It's a, a nice event. It's a nice event. It's kind of quiet, nice weather today. Hot, hot, it's for, hot. for February. But, but we're good here at the shade. Yeah. We have a bunch of tests that I counted about, I don't know, 15, 20? Some have come and gone, but yeah, we're a full house right now. Yeah, this is great. So what are we yeah. doing? Here's Salif. What are we talking about? So no, we're just talking about the event today. And I was telling everyone that it's been great working with you guys, as well as Jason, who's around here helping out. And we just made it to this event, which is kind of fun for the people that haven't attended an event with us, with the club yet. Yeah, I think that what I always love about going to Tesla events is you always will find three kinds. The, the diehard Tesla fan, um, you know, you can also see the people who are not part of the club that came maybe just and saw, you know, a bunch of Teslas and wanted to know what's going on. But most importantly, what I love is the other people that you can educate about um, EV, sustainability, and then just um, bust some myth about electric vehicles. Sometimes you'll hear that. So those questions are really great. And most importantly, just the sense of community and, and belonging and people really just, you just meet like so many great people and nice yeah. people. So it's kind of like a fringe benefit of owning a EV or a Tesla. Yeah. It's like the people, the friend, the, the, the friend that you make, the amazing people that you meet, everyone wanting to jump in and help. So I'm just excited and I love what the club is doing and it's just gonna get bigger. Awesome, thank you guys, hey. appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate your help and let's keep partying here. This is Frank here. Frank is part of the city council of the city of Dorot and Frank is going to talk to us a little bit about what we're doing here and why we're doing it. Frank, thank you. Thank you, Rafael. Thank you for having us. Thank you for hosting us uh, here. Uh, yeah, talk to me a little bit about what's going on here. Of course, my name is Frank Gamis, and I'm the chair of the City of Doral Environmental Advisory Board. So now that we have this new Tesla supercharger here at the Wawa in Doral, we wanted to bring awareness to the community that sustainability is not only uh, electric, it's not only recycling, but it's also supporting local businesses and supporting each other as a community. So we're very proud to have here uh, Rafael, who invited the Tesla owners of South Florida to be here with us with some local sponsors, obviously Wawa that welcomed us here, some representatives from Tesla as well. And uh, again, we're here to promote sustainability, sustainable practices and community awareness so we can spread the mission of Tesla, which is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Awesome, that's great. So how about the uh, any initiatives to support businesses that want to host charging locations and related things like that? So locally in our city right now, we don't have anything uh, to incentivize local businesses, even though there are some tax breaks for businesses that install charging locations at their business. And besides those tax incentives that are at the federal level when you're applying to do your business taxes, another thing that is really beneficial for businesses that want to open charging infrastructure at their locations is that you bring people to your location uh, to spend money, buy goods and services. So it's definitely a welcoming thing and that's why we're here to spread the awareness. Even though we don't have the laws and the code yet to give the incentive to those businesses, uh, every day we see it spreading more and more. And I did wanna give a shout out to our local hotels who are opening up destination chargers when people are choosing a hotel to go vacation or that they have to stay, they'd rather choose one with a destination charger where they can charge up 
versus right. any other one. And also to our local supermarkets that are also uh, taking the initiative themselves, taking matters into their own hands, and they have destination superchargers as well. People choose a supermarket that has a charger versus one that does not. That's great, awesome. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoy our short video of the event that we're having here. Like always, thank you for supporting us. If you're in the area, come over to the city of Doral because this is a city that is all in on the Tesla mission for sustainable energy and transportation. Frank, thank, thank you, you so much. Thanks again. Welcome to the Tesla Supercharger in Doral here at our local Wawa. Uh, we're here to help inaugurate and welcome everybody to the city of Doral, which is the best place to live, learn, work, invest, and play. So and we, drive your Tesla. And drive your Tesla. <laughs> uh, we have Councilwoman Claudia Mariaca of the city of Doral and our next mayor here to assist with us. My name is Frank Gomez, chair of the city of Doral Environmental Advisory Board. We want to welcome you, your families, to come to Doral visit our parks, open your business, come to our schools, move to our city. Come here to Wawa, charge your car, and without further ado, I don't know if you have any more words to say. Well, I think Frank is always great at covering everything, so I don't really have a lot more to say. I'm just very excited, um, you know, as, as a parent, as a resident, when you see this type of, of initiative, and especially these are initiatives that we're guaranteeing the future of our planet um, for our kids, for our grandkids. And to me, that is the most important thing we could do because right. as far as I know, there's nowhere else we can go. So guys, let's make sure we take care of what we've got today. So I just want to thank everybody that's here, all the Tesla owners, Wawa, which has been an incredible neighbor and partner of the city of Doral since they first came here a number of years ago. Uh, I'm excited to have uh, our Zen water that's coming out soon and all the recycling initiatives that we see here today. So everybody that's here, thank you so much for coming out. Um, this is one more initiative that is going to help us in the future. And I thank the advisory board to make sure that they're always here to protect our green spaces and our future. So thank you everybody. And I think without further ado, I think we need a couple more people here. Yeah, thank all you. Right. All right. All right. Yeah, you, you're a you're Tesla the, the owner. You're the official Tesla owner. All right. One, two.